Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm starting a, a new project today and I am going to move my color bins, which you can see this is brown. Um, and I have them in these canvas bins that I think I got at Target or at Walmart or someplace. Anyway, um, I've got the fronts decorated up with like flowers and butterflies and ribbon to indicate what color is in the bin. And then on the inside I have like random stuff. Um, here to the side, I have an iris container that has lots of journal spots. I have um, buttons um, and multiple packages. I have whatever paints that I might have in brown shades. Um, those are more journal spots. This is a uh, plastic bin from Hobby Lobby, I believe, that just has random embellishments in it. And then this is all of the brown tone flowers, also a plastic bin. So all of this, um, I am moving into a plastic bin. I picked these up at at home, but I know you can get them at um, Target as well. Um, and so they are 14 by 11 by 9, which fit into my little cubbies that I have. I have just the generic uh, Good Housekeeping brand, I think, of storage containers. There's nine cubies in the, the set. What I'm going to do is just move everything over. This one is probably a good two inches longer, um, and it's the same width, so width-wise it would fit. This one is a little narrower at the bottom than it is at the top, but I think it'll still work because my bins are going to go in still like this, and I have, like that is pattern paper, um, um, I have these border strips in here, and you can see all of these are shades of brown. These rub-ons, and these at least will fit in here lengthwise. Um, I have these that I printed, and I have been fussy cutting or punching them out over the course of time that I've had them. This is a set of Recollections overlays. Um, leftover stamps from close to my heart or stamps leftover stickers from close to my heart um i have these sheets of pattern paper and they're shaped um this set of cork stickers that have love sentiments these are k and company i want to uh, i'm not certain and then I have my mind's eye different border strips in here. And you can see I just have a clothes pin on them to pin them together. I have the mini border uh, strips, the edges. And then I have, this is something that I made a very long time ago um, when I was part of doing groups where you trade stuff. Um, a piece of mulberry paper and then some, oh, what do you call this? Not canvas. Um material. <laughs> anyway, all of it is in shades of brown and tan, darker tan, because I have a bin that is devoted to tan. These are um, glittered fancy pants edges. Um, they're on acetate background. These I bought a whole package of I think 25 for like a dollar and this is what I have left and I bought them years and years ago and I've slowly been using them over the course of years. Martha Stewart uh, numbers and months. And I think days on there too. Um, same with this package, same thing. Just I've been into that one. These are things that I've punched out from my textured papers, all in brown. This is a book, um, a chipboard book to create with. And then down in here where I have a lot of this at, I have this basket that I bought from uh, Dollar Tree. And in it, let me show you. Let me just take all of this stuff out. I'm going to set it right down in here. Now, I did just get some new organizing pieces to go into my um, cabinet drawers that I was going to use. But I think I'll stick with this because I think it'll fit in here nicely. Yeah. So I'll have this the uh, with all of my die cuts, and I'll put this one in here because it was just hanging out in there. Sometimes I do that when I get to something and I, and I don't necessarily want to use that. I'll stick it in there. My paints, my glitter glue, um, 
and my buttons will go in here. There. Um, I have these two bins here, and then I have the way that I had it in the other bin, I had these bigger things like this uh, journal memo pad thing um, with all of these journal spots in it. Um, I had tucked two behind these like this, but I have room so they'll go there. I have this alphabet that I think is from somewhere, uh, Dollar Tree I think maybe. And then these wooden buttons. I'll leave both of these in their package and I'm just going to stick them in that bin right there. So you can see this one is now empty but this doesn't have an identifier of what color it is. So what I think I'm going to do and I don't necessarily want to have these things standing up so I can do some rearranging and sorting in here now that I have a bit more space lengthwise. Maybe. I think that'll work. And there it all fits in there relatively nicely. And so I'm going to get a piece of brown ribbon. And I'm not going to be super fussy. I'm just going to tie it right here um, on the front so that I know it's brown. I don't know that I'm going to put any designation as far as my flowers or anything on the front of these because my new puppies will... Um, have been eating what's on trying to eat off what's on the canvas so you can see there's that and i'll just clean that up a little bit shorten it up just a hair and then put that little bow towards the front and voila it signifies that it's brown in this color bin and i'll show you a shot of the front of my color bins um, so you'll know what i'm talking about as I'm sorting through. And that spot down there that's empty is where I have my brown bin out. That's where I have been uh, sorting that. And my room is an utter mess, but that's, that's where I have everything, all of my color bins, and I'll show you again when I'm done. So I went through and I pulled out several things to get rid of out of my brown and so it's all in here now I'm going to work on my tan or cream uh, off-white color embellishments and, and stuff that I have in my color bin and it's the same deal over to the side I keep taller items and this is a um, like a traveler's notebook and it's got perforated pages in it. well one perforated at the back no multiple perforated it looks like um oh all of them are perforated they're just kind of stuck together at the bottom and it's sewn together in the middle so i think um i'm going to keep that there these are um canvas shaped tags i'm going to keep those because i occasionally do want to use those. I have these canvas tags that I have had for a very long time and I've used bits and pieces and I, I think I may keep them for a while longer. That may be something that I don't keep in my stash forever. These are bits and pieces that were from a cut apart sheet to make a little mini album and I haven't used, I've used a couple of them and I've ink that one so I was going to use it for something so I'll keep these for a little bit longer because they're super cute I think they're Teresa Collins then a package of tags from uh, Target dollar spot and I have used those before and then I have this package of ephemera which I I've got a vintage kit on my shelf that I actually need to put this with that that kit so I'm going to hold it out um, in here I don't have the two bins I only have the one and in this one I have some gold color um, clothes pins mini clothes pins and then some off-white or cream color tags um, then I have a big roll of crochet twine and then I have my basket and that is empty so in my little basket let me empty all of this out and then I'll put the basket in and this is one just from the Dollar Tree. Nothing fancy. I don't need it to be fancy. Um, I have my glitter glues and my paints. That one, it feels. No, it's, I think it's, there's nothing shaking in there. So that's one of my making memories 
Um, last time I did a sort out of my paints, this one was still liquid, but now it's it solidified, so it's going into the trash. Then this is a metallic puffy paint to write names or whatever with, um, and then liquid pearls. Then I have a button of darker, um, darker tan color buttons, and then um, cream off-white color buttons. And this is a jar. I think it was a spice jar of some sort. So it's glass, but this one is plastic. I would prefer, this one is plastic. I would prefer to have this one in plastic, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, I don't think I can find one this size in plastic. But then again, I haven't really looked for one. So all of that typically goes just right up in the front. Semi sort of like that that lid is broke on there. Then I have my um, all my journal spots etc in here and I just put it in right here. That big button container does not fit very kosher with that. So and then this is random bits. Um, I have a little bit of ribbon and a couple of buttons. I think I'll take this out of the package, put this bit of ribbon into my um, uh, my leftover ribbon uh, jar that I have up there and put these buttons in this cream color. So I'll keep that out. Canvas tags, more canvas tags. Here's a frame. I don't keep frames um, in here or wood veneer in here, um, but for some reason these ended up in here. So I'm going to put these in their appropriate places. These are tags. I have tags in another location, but I'm okay with putting these in. So, and then I have some book pages. These are from a book in French. I think a couple of different books in French, and I just keep those right in here. Um, so yeah, that's what I have and how I have sorted. I didn't really clean anything out of this other than to put these things in uh, different spots. So I can take these buttons here and put them in this, wow. All right, don't know why that got so tight. So that's that, um, fixed up in there. And this is my leftover ribbon jar. It's just bits and pieces from everything and everywhere. And so when I have a little bit like this leftover, I like to take it. But I don't want to unwind it. I want to keep it wound up. And then the little rubber bands, the little clear bands or dark bands, you can get them colored, whatever, um, that you get from Dollar Tree or Walmart. I like to just take and put around that, like that, to hold it together. And then just drop it in there. And that will go back up on my shelf. It sits behind my stamping blocks. So there, that's that. And then I'll put the wood veneer, this wood veneer and this frame with uh, like items in my stash where I have other frames and other wood veneer. So out of my cream color, I didn't get rid of anything. Um, but moving along, I'm at purple now. And so, um, yeah. These are actually Boho Chic Ephemera stickers and they're making memories from a long time ago. But I like them, so I'm gonna keep them. They have a purplish tone to them. This is something that came out of a magazine, as is this, and I'm gonna keep those, because I like them. These are border strips that came from a punch-out pack. I like those, but I'm gonna put them um, with some different borders. These are some stickers that came out of one of those big sticker books. It has mostly a purple feel to me, so they're gonna stay in here. I could put them in my sticker bin, um, in my sticker drawer, but I'm not going to. Um, this is my border strips, and instead of uh, putting these in here right now. I'm just going to put those in there. Um, these are purple flowers. Um, there's other colors in here, but these are all from Miss Elizabeth, and these are like a hundred years old. Um, these are my alpha dots, all in purple. Um, I have square and round. Um, yeah, 
those are staying because I still use those on occasion. Then I have all of these chipboard hearts from a punch board. It says from Fiskars 2008. Um, yeah, I like them. I think I'll keep them for a little, little bit longer. And in this one, I actually have one of those divider pieces that go in your paper storage. And I had cut it down to fit that. So I don't think it's not quite long enough. It's a couple of inches short, but I don't necessarily know that I'm going to keep it in here, but I'm going to put it in here for now. I also have a package of purple flowers, and that was relatively new. And so rather than sorting it out in here and putting it where it belonged, I just threw it in the bin. I'll just pull those out sometimes and throw them in there. I have purple flowers in a plastic bin, and then I have random embellishments. Uh, there's some purple buttons in there, metal embellishments, and random stuff in that one. And then in here, there's the bin that goes down in the bottom. These are uh, bits and pieces of journaling spots. There's a sticker. There's photo uh, corners. Just random stuff. Some more of those alphabets words already popped out. Um, that'll live right there. Purple buttons will live there. Then I also have some purple staples um, and that's just lived in here. I have this big purple bow um, and it's a freckled fawn embellishment and it's a leather et. Um, and it just needs to go into this big random embellishment bin and I've just never put it in there. So voila. I won't even bother taking it out of the plastic at this point. I'll leave it in there. And then I have purple paints. We'll go in here. This one is an old not moving making memories it's done into the trash and then i have these random uh, stickles liquid pearls and studio g glitter glue uh, all in purple shades and those go right in there and that's it for the purple and on this one i have a purple ribbon at the front of the bin as well as this bookmark that a friend made me a long time ago i have you can see just random stuff flowers um let me move it over just a skosh to make where you can see it. I have butterflies and I have, that's like a uh, burlap uh, flower. There's one of those big bows. There's a unicorn. There's my ribbon that I had on there previously to designate the color. And then a friend gave me this bookmark. It's to lay inside your book and it's too pretty and I didn't want to lose it. So I thought why not use it as an embellishment, but I can't leave it on here now. Um, I can't put it on the white one only because my puppies, my new puppies will eat that. And this one is a sheer ribbon. And to me, it doesn't really matter if it's sheer or grow grain or rickrack. Um, as long as it designates the color of what's in the bin. That's really the only thing I care about when it comes to the ribbon. I don't want a multicolor on here that may be primarily purple. I want it to be just purple. So there, that's done and ready to go. And so you see, I'm not, I haven't gotten rid of much because like I, I've said it multiple times, what I have in my stash, I typically love and I don't want to get rid of. These are basic gray um, shapes. They have acetate pieces in here as well as some larger journal spots that I have used on previous um, layouts. You can see, um, I don't want to get rid of that just yet. I have uh, a couple a couple of blue flowers left in here. There's some washi tape on the front of that for whatever reason, I don't know. I don't want to lose those flowers, so I'm keeping them there. I have some alpha dots and circles and squares in blue. Those will stay in there. Uh, more blue flowers and butterflies. Those are more teal or um, turquoise, but I haven't divided teal or turquoise out of my uh, embellishments. This sticker sheet is just random stickers, but they feel mostly blue because there's blue in these with the pink. There's little dots of blue flowers, etc. So that's going to stay in here. Um, this is a set of chipboard by Scenic Route Company, and it has, to me, it has a blue feel. Everything feels blue, and it's kind of all come out of the carrier sheet. It's never been used. It's brand new. So it's actually going to go down in here. 
Um, these are border strips. Um, I have a felt border strip. I have this one from a punch out piece. That's a felt piece. And these are um, K and Company um, here on the back. And there's pink and blue. Um, I'm actually going to leave these. These are paper clipped together. I'm going to leave those in there. Then I have some blue um, tissue paper. And I do like to use tissue paper on occasion. Now this is a frame from this and that uh, from my mind's eye. Now I have had these, I have a whole pack of these somewhere. I've divided some of them out and put them in individual color bins. But I don't think, I haven't used this and I've probably had it for 15 or 20 years. This says from 2002, so does that give you any indication? Nearly 20 years. I don't think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to drop it into my uh, do not want bag. Um, and then over in the, uh, I have the flower, flowers, flowers. I have flowers. <laughs> there's that. Um, random embellishments. Um, there's chipboard pieces in here. There's extra large buttons. There's metal pieces. Um, all with the blue flavor, flavor or feel. These are butterflies from Jot that I got at Dollar Tree. Super cute. They're going to go in there. These are letters um, that I have used a couple of times. Um, whatever adhesive was on them is gone. These are called Chip Chatter and they are from Press Petals. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep these. I think I am going to let these go because every time I have pulled them out to use them, I haven't. Um, and it's just not worth it to me to hang on to stuff like that when I'm not loving it. So it's okay. I can let it go. So I have darker blue and then lighter blue. Well, they should have been more teal tone and more darker blue. Teal tone and lighter blue and then darker blue um, in the other bin, but that's not how it went. Um, all of my uh, random bits, and I've got one of those big bows in there, and that should go in the um, jar. I'm going to stash that down in there because I saw another of those big bows. This was laying down in there. It can actually go in here. And then I saw these stickers and these little mini doilies can go in here. And those are things that I had sorted out from other things that landed in my color bin without being sorted into appropriate place. So those bows are going in that um, big jar. Then I have this pack of teal tone flowers. I'm going to tuck those right there at the back for now. And then I have blue paint. And uh, I think that's like a puffy paint or something that I got at a um, convention. Blue stickles. Teal stickles. Almost green. These are, um, what are they called? Neptune. Very light Nouveau drops. A large container of Nouveau Drops and more blue paints. My grandkids like to play with paints a lot um, and so I have quite a few paints, regular type paints. So let's put those over there. Oh, another bottle of stickles. And then I have all of this twine. Um, that's the heavy duty thick stuff, jute jute cording or twine whatever you want to call it um and then i have some blue uh, br uh not brads um staples so yeah i'll tuck those right there and then that's it for the blue um and like i said on the front of my bins where i have had uh, the floral embellishments and everything else yeah that is not going to stay um, that is not going to transfer over to my new plastic bins, um, only because I don't want the dogs to eat them. And this may be something that I don't necessarily keep these forever. Let me get a blue ribbon. Again, just starting with, um, what's on the side, the tissue papers. These are, I don't remember the company, but, um, yeah, they're stickers. They're going to go in there. These are actually vellum pieces, and even though I haven't used them in forever, I still don't want to get rid of them. I love them. They bring me joy, so I'm going to hang on to them. More alpha dots in green. Um, 
I have some embellishments that I made a long time ago. But I thought they were super cute, so I'm going to hang on to them. And then this um, burlap fabric, I will keep there to the side. I have uh, random stuff. I have flowers. I have two sets of these alphas. Um, they're different. This one is all numbers. This one is all alphas. And um, I've used them a couple of times. But I still have letters to use out of here. So I'm going to hang on to these for a bit longer. And continue to work at using them up. Then uh, put my basket down in there. And look, I have a green basket to go in my green container. How fun is that? Um, buttons. Those are just some rolls of uh, fabric that I have, a ribbon that I have from close to my heart. I do keep my ribbon sorted someplace else um, all together. Um, but I like these that they're all green and I'm just going to leave them in here. So I have all of my journal spot um, and small paper embellishments in there. More alpha dots. Those in. Oh look, a whole handful of journal spots that I have uh, printed out and cut out and then these random star stickers with circles on the inside. Those will go over to the side. Um, these will go in with my journaling stuff and paper. And then I have some flowers in here um, that I have recently purchased. And again, I just tossed them in there. They were in no specific order. Uh, I have uh, teal or blue staples and then green staples. These I'm going to put in my blue bin. This bow is green, so it's going to, again, go into this random jar of embellishments. And at some point, I'm going to go through these jars and stuff and sort again. Um, and those are liquid pearls, glitter, glitter gel, and then paint. Um, these will all live in here. Um, I will go through these jars and sort. Like if there's any flowers that I don't want anymore. If there's um, any random embellishments. If there's any die cuts that I don't want. I will go through and sort them. Again on the front of this one. I had some really pretty green uh, flowers. I had a green butterfly. I had this bookmark piece. Or a keychain piece here that a friend made me. I had some green paper or um, clothespins there and a green ribbon. I love these big plastic bins. They're not quite as tall as the canvas bins, but they are just a bit longer. Um, so I can actually see down into it, which is not a big thing. These are my uh, iron-on letters. I don't want to get rid of those. I don't use them very often, but I don't want to get rid of them. Um, because this has some yellow accents here, I'm going to keep these in yellow. I could cut them apart, um, but I'm not going to at this point. I'll just keep them there. Some gold border strips. Um, that is one of those My Mind's Eye this and that frames, and I'm going to get rid of that. Not getting rid of much, but I'm getting rid of some things that have been in my stash forever. I have leftover flowers from when I did... Um, a craft project. I have some more alpha dots. Um, I did craft projects frames with my with my grandkids, so I don't want to get rid of those in case we come up with another project to do. I have jelly bean soup um, stars, and then I have these uh, recollections uh, kites left over. I think that's it as far as the side. I have my flowers. I have my random embellishments, and in the yellow, there's not much. I have this roll of uh, gold metallic ribbon. Um, I don't use it very often, and I mostly use it outside to keep the birds off my porch. Yeah, I make streamers and clip them onto my gutters to keep the birds off my porch. I know I'm weird. Um, journal spots here and I see one laying there and I see some flowers that are primarily yellow and so those will just go right in there and then I have this uh, glitter tool ribbon and I'm telling you this stuff is as messy as it gets so I'm going to get rid of it 
and I've used the heck out of it. It's almost used up, but what's left is going. This will go inside my big. When I purchased these plastic jars, I initially thought I was going to use the glass jars, but everything just became so very heavy. Um, I have buttons here, and I see a button. I do this too. I drop the buttons like that um, down in the bottom of the bin if I... Uh, have it left over or find it in the floor or something I'll just drop it into the bin and ever so often I'll go through here and clean these bins out and um, so that I pick up all the little doodads from the bottom paints I have gold metallic just plain old ordinary yellow I have liquid pearls um, metallic again and then a basics um, acrylic gold color um, so that's what I have as far as that goes in the gold uh, or sorry, yellow color bin. I'll put a ribbon on there and be done with this one as well. On to orange, and I just put my ribbon on there already. These are border strips from Kay and Company in multicolors, but because that top one there is orange, I'm gonna leave it in the orange bin. Um, these are embellishments that I made for Thanksgiving. These are random Mambi stickers. Uh, they're clear backing with the color uh, sticker on top and so these are just going to go because they have a uh, orange feel I'm just going to leave them in here for now this is a pack of those letters um, from Heidi Grace um, that I have multiples left in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in there because I've used it so much another set of embellishments that I made for Thanksgiving these are chipboard pieces from SEI and because this one has orange I'm gonna leave it in here for now like I said when I go back through and sort these a little bit more I may move some things around um, as far as these packages of embellishments that have multicolors in them orange doilies and leaf shapes gonna stay there uh, again leaves um, because they're glittered, I'm going to leave them in this package. I was going to take them out and put them into the flower jar, but I'm just not going to because they're glittered. I have a few orange buttons left in this pack. And so I'm just going to open up my orange buttons there. Dump those out and put them right into there. Voila. Um, this one is random embellishments. Um, and I have wood bits in there. I have uh, metal bits in there. I have more buttons in there. Yeah. Another pack of numbers from the Heidi Grace um, in orange. And then that's going to go there. I will put my basket right here. We'll make that work like that. Here are the paper bits and pieces. And then the buttons. And these are all flowers and bows and things that I have. I believe I got them at the Dollar Spot, maybe at Michael's or either at their Jot. So probably at the Dollar Tree. But I bought these for craft projects with my grandkids because we make little uh, photo frames. And we just hot glue these on. And so they're all going to stay together just like that. I have a package of mostly orange butterflies. I'll tuck that there and then I've got um, what is that scribbles uh, 3d paint um, I have sheer paints on glass paints I have liquid pearls um, yeah all of those go in there and then I have another of that uh, making memories um, paint that is dried up it's going into the trash and so that's it for my orange um, so yeah making progress and there's the front of that color bin. I love these color bins and how I have the fronts decorated. Um, and so, yeah, you can see where my puppies have torn those apart. And I only have like a piece of that orange pin on there. That's so funny. The things that they have chewed up off these bins. So now I'm on to red. And um, I'm putting a ribbon on here now. I don't have a mega ton of stuff in some of my color bins and I think I'm going to change some things up as far as what I what I store in my how I store like my ribbons um, I, I think I want to free up that space on my wall to maybe store some of my washi tape there uh, 
embellishments that I've made. I have butterflies from Jaunt. Then I have butterflies from Michaels and then a couple of Recollections Hearts embellishments. Um, and there are other places in my stash that I could keep this stuff, but I just don't. I have red tissue paper and this red felt I have tried multiple times to use it for multiple things and I don't think I'm going to keep it because I find it very difficult to use. Um, these butterflies and stars both from Jelly Bean Soup. Um, yeah. More textured flowers and those will just stay in there. Um, my bin with the flowers um, and they're from all over the place. Uh, these are the random embellishments. I have buttons. I have metal bits. I have, uh, yeah, random stuff in there. I have these flower embellishments, and they are autumn terracotta cranberry sorbet and olive from the Florette paper flowers. That's a collection that was out a long time ago, and those are all close to my heart um, papers. But I'll leave these together, and I will leave them in here for now. Um, let me put my basket in there. Huh? I love it when I can do that red and red. Uh, these are metallic uh, letters um, and I have used them multiple times. Uh, they're foil um, and they are die cuts with the view. I've used them multiple times and either as monogram or whatever. I'm going to keep them for a bit longer. This is uh, paper embellishments, journal spots, uh, random stuff in there. A couple of jars of red paint. Um, another making memories red, golly, um, buttons, I have glitter glue and stickles, and then I have a couple rolls of that big, uh, twine, the jute cord, so that's going to drop right in there, and then I have some red tulle. It's not glittered or anything, so yeah, it's good to just live right there, um, and I have another one of those bookmarks on the front of this color bin. Uh, I have this really large flower that came from somewhere. Um, but I have this bookmark here that I just cannot part with. Um, but unfortunately, I can't put it on the front of my color bin right now. Maybe as my puppies get older, that might be something that we can do. So there's my red bin. So now I'm on to my pink color bin. And other than my white, I think this is probably my fullest bin. Only because I have three granddaughters. And so, you know, I mean, come on. Who doesn't, who doesn't scrapbook with uh, pink girly things for their granddaughters? Not, of course not me. I, I mean, yeah, that's, I do scrapbook other colors with them, but not very many. I have lots of tissue paper. Um, and that will just live right here in the side. Um, I have these border strips, the felt and the paper and yeah, you name it. I've got them there. They're going to stay there. I have these border strips and these were a company called Gen X. Went out of business a long time ago. Um, yeah, uh, more stickers. These are paper embellishment pieces, a sticker there. That is a frame. Um, I'm just going to leave that stuff right there. More flower stickers. Uh, more label stickers. Um, flower stickers. I have the jar of random embellishments. And then I have the jar of flowers. And then I have... Um, let me put the basket in here. And I have paper embellishments there. I have stickles and scribbles textured paint there, buttons, more paint and scribbles. I have this set of InstaFun photo stuff. Um, I haven't used it, but I want to, so I'm going to leave it in here for now. Um, I have lots of bows from Freckled Fawn in pink. So I, again, I'm just going to open up this random embellishment jar, stuff them all in there. And then I have random um, acrylic pieces down here. I have flamingos and unicorns. 
and they are going in that jar as well. Random pink twine. This is a set of chipboard pieces that are owls, but they're primarily pink. Um, I have pink buttons that were part of a collection. I have these owls and hearts. I want to say they are Michael's brand or either Hobby Lobby. And then I have a big package of hearts. All of those will go, and they're felted. More acrylic pieces there. Then I have this package of pinwheels from Recollections. This package of Heidi Swap um, stickers on clear background, but they're pink, um, and I have used them over the years and will continue to do so. And finally, pink tool. Um, those will continue to live in here. I don't see anything necessarily that I want to get rid of immediately, um, but as I go back through refining it a little bit more I might find something like these Martha Stewart stickers I've had forever I might want to get rid of some of those we'll see um, anyway that is my pink color bin okay so now my black um, all the stuff that goes into the side the tissue paper and I have these alpha dots in gray and black in my black bin I do have a lot of gray Oh, that's white. It goes in the other one. Um, these are, because they're black border, I left them in here. I had printed them out and then fussy cut around them. This is one of those pieces. Uh, it looks like metal or stone um, stickers. And I will just leave those in there. Uh, these are edge. Um, they're basil basics, but they're out of textured. Uh, cardstock with like the dots on them and they're all different shapes uh, there are these border strips in that felt fusion from years ago these are embellishments that I've made that doesn't belong down in there uh, a couple of notebooks for whatever purpose and then some border strips these are recollections and they're on clear backing with glitter, some glitter, some metallic fronts. I have um, mulberry paper. I have silver metallic paper. Um, more of the alpha dots. Let me put these together with the others there. I have some more of that shape paper um, that is pattern. Um, lighter on the back, darker on the front. Then this acetate piece that says brother. Um, and because brother is in black, I'm leaving it in the black color bin. So all of that was over to the side. And then I also have uh, these Jenny Bolin stickers. I have uh, the flower bin. I have the random embellishment bin. I have leather frames in there. Isn't that funny? Um, those were a thing for a while. Um, paper embellishments, and I'm just going to put this little bit, uh, that alpha dots that's punched out there, in there. I'm looking for anything else that might need to go into this random embellishment bin. Those are both silver bows. And silver, gray, and black are what I have in this color bin because there's not much of the silver or the gray. Put my little basket in there. There's my paper embellishments. These are leftover bits and pieces from a quick coat, quick quotes class that I went to, and I don't think I'm going to use any of these, so those are going to go into my do not want bin. They're chipboard bits. These are journaling spots, and I just haven't pulled them from the book. Um, these are old making memories, um, and those are quite old, 2007. Um, I'll leave them in the book for now, but they'll eventually get torn out and put into this bin. These are chipboard uh, numbers from Lil Davis Designs, and they're black and white. They're not my favorite. I've had two packs of them, and I did use them uh, at least once, um, but I think I'm going to let these go. These are different um, clear bits um, that you can use in your pocket pages. 
um, and they're hashtag life overlays. I'm going to leave these in here for now. They're black and silver design, I think. Um, I have, again, silver ribbon, metallic ribbon, and again, I use it to um, keep the birds away from my front porch. I have buttons in black, buttons in silver and gray. Then I have Nouveau Drops. I have this uh, Tulips Metallics uh, textured paint uh, that is acrylic paint. I have more acrylic paint and more acrylic paint and glitter paint. This is stickles and liquid pearls. Um, and I see a black button that is going to go into my black buttons. And I have this little piece of felt in here that I've never used for anything. I thought I was going to use it. Um, but I didn't, so it's going in my do, do not want bin too. And then another bit of black crochet twine. Um, yeah, it'll live in there. And I think black is done. Last but definitely not least is the white color bin. And this one is my other one. Besides my pink, this one is just chock full of stuff. I have more of those border strips from Basil. Um, I have felt uh, border strips, that one that was in my black one that wasn't supposed to be there. I have rub-ons. Um, I have all of these are rub-ons. And it is so full that my thing won't close at the top. So yeah, I need to probably sort through those and make sure they're all still good. Um, I have... Oh, stuff is falling out of my hands. I have all of this vellum um, and I hate to let vellum go um, because it is so pretty. Um, I don't use it often anymore. I used to use it a lot more frequently. Um, these are all quick quotes, I believe. And so I'm going to hang on to them for a little bit longer. When I do another um, dig through, I might um, sort through. I might get rid of it then. These are bits and pieces from a cut apart sheet and then I have some Ellie Studio, some older cut apart bits. I'm not going to leave these in here even though they are white background. I'm going to put them in my leftovers bin up top so that I can cut those apart and maybe get those used up. These are all things to color um, and use as embellishment stickers. And they are all Tattered Angels. I think I bought them all at Tuesday morning um, for pretty cheap. So those will live in there. These are Alpha Dots in white. Uh, that is um, from 2012, the Great American Scrapbook Convention. That's how long I've had this in here and I never put together the layout um, that I intended to. These are more vellum pieces and I will just Sort that with the vellum there. More vellum pieces. And then these are all things that I have printed and need to be cut apart. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all of that in here. And these are actually rub-ons and they still work. Couldn't tell you the company, but I've had multiple sheets and I think I have multiple of these somewhere else too that I still use on occasion. So I'm gonna leave these in here. Glutton for punishment, right? I love rub-ons. What can I say? Uh, a couple of traveler's notebooks. Um, yeah, never done anything with the traveler's notebooks. Um, don't know if I'm gonna, but I don't know that I'm not gonna yet. So random bits and bobs of embellishments. And then flowers. I have my buttons in this, another one of those glass jars that's just super large because, yeah, well, white buttons, it seems like you can just be overwhelmed with white buttons. And I am digging out my tray here. I have a lot of stuff down in the bottom of this. And look, I had broke that tray and so I just washi taped it up. Golly, I'm so, I'm so um, frugal, if you will. Uh, these are more the clear buttons um, that I have. 
uh, paper and different bits and bobs of embellishments in there. I'm going to leave that up there because I have some pieces to go in there. These are acetate pieces and they have frays. I do use these on occasion, so I am going to keep these. Um, these are all uh, little paper envelopes and a glassine bag. And there's, look, there's a die cut. Those are going in here. I have paint. I have Scribbles 3D paint. I have um, metallic paint. I have acrylic paint. More stickles, glitter stickles. These are clear buttons but I didn't have enough room in here for these to go in so they just live in this little baggie and I'm okay with that. Um, this is a roll of ribbon flowers um, and I just keep it in here and then I have more stickles, more puffy paint, Nuvo drops, I have more puffy paint. I have more white paint, pearlized paint. Um, I have white tags. This is not typically where I keep my tags at, but I'm going to leave it in there for now. Uh, these are paper clouds that I have. They'll go in there. Random white bow. It's going in there. Another white bow. And another white bow. More glitter paint. Um, I have some acrylic pieces uh, in white glitter. They're unicorns. And that will go in there. Unicorns and flamingos. And then I have some crochet flowers that were just down in the bottom of it. And they'll go in the flower bin. The paper um, iris container will go right there. Then I have this roll of crochet twine. It'll live there and then another roll of those stickers from Heidi Swap um, with the damask um, pattern on it. And this is clear background with white uh, color damask design. And I have a whole roll of those but I'm not getting rid of them because I still like them. Um, and that is my white color bin. There's the front and look I had pretty paper clips and flowers and a unicorn and butterflies and a dragonfly. So there, that's my white color bin. Let me show you. So here are all the color bins broken down with the embellishments still on the front. Um, I'm not going to take them apart at this point. I may go back to these. We'll see as time goes by. And I put all of those dividers in here. I, I just, they don't fit in the uh, plastic bins that I have. So I'm going to leave these here for now and I will show you what my color bins look like now. So here are my color bins. 